I'm Axel Wilkinson with another tip for FX Home Photo Key 5. In this video, we are going to continue our look at the many tools in Photo Key that help you get amazing results even when working with difficult images by examining an image with a dark line around the edge of our subject. With most images, this won't even be an issue, but if it happens, here's how we deal with it. I've used a white background to make that as obvious as possible, and why don't we turn off the light wrap as well so that that line is clearly visible. Now, with the new tools in Photo Key 5, we can eliminate this with a single adjustment. In the Auto Chroma Key tool, there is a subset of tools titled Edge Color, and the Recover slider will allow us to eliminate that dark line along the edge and recover the color we want. It really is as simple as that. To understand better how this tool works, let's turn it way up. We'll go all the way to 10. And now we get this somewhat nasty, slightly hideous banding around the edge of our subject. But this helps to demonstrate what is actually happening with this tool. What it does is it takes each pixel along the edge of our foreground and it needs to assign it a new color. And so to choose the color, it moves in toward the center of our foreground layer. The value we assign here tells it how many pixels inward to move. So here we're moving in from, say, this pixel. It's moving in 10 pixels toward the center. It samples that color and then applies that color to all 10 of the pixels between there and the edge of the image. Now, based on where it's at on the edge, you can see some of these are being sampled inward horizontally. Some are being sampled inward vertically, depending on the direction that that edge of the image is going. But this technique works very well because as we now move around the edge of our foreground, the color being sampled and applied by the edge recover slider is always going to be appropriate to the context. So here in the suit, we have colors from the suit being sampled. As we move onto the face, there are skin tones being sampled and applied there. And as we move upward, you can see the same is true along the edges of the hat. This means that when this is properly adjusted, the colors assigned will always create a natural looking result. Now, of course, with it turned way up like this, that does not look natural. And so it's best to adjust this recover slider just high enough to remove the line that we're trying to get rid of and don't go any higher. Here, a setting around two does a nice job of eliminating the line on this image without creating obvious banding around our edges there but the actual value that you need to use will vary somewhat based on the size of the specific image you're working with. And then of course the thickness of the line you're trying to remove could impact that as well. Now this is a somewhat uncommon situation. Most of your images, if they're of decent quality, won't have a line around the edge like this that you need to remove. But when you do run into that scenario, it's good to know that Photo Key 5 has the tools to handle that very easily and quickly. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful, and if you want to catch all of our upcoming tips and tutorials for PhotoKey, please subscribe to our channel.